All right, Belden Combe, CEO and President of Nutritional Fitness. Joining me now, you just took my one-to-one -one program, wrapped up. What do you think? I am on top of the world in so many ways. So many ways. What you've been able to do to help me open up, reach out, and come up with a cohesive, consolidated story has been just amazing. Thank you. Tell us a little bit, you're welcome first, but tell us a little bit about what you do and what prompted you to even say, I need a signature talk. I want to be more visible. I want to be on stages. I am a scientist. I am a metabolic cellular biologist, and I think that way. I think very linear, point A to point B. How do we get there? What's all the data? What's all the information? And most people don't think that way. So my communication style isn't really a communication style that grabs people and pulls them into my world. And that's what I initially asked your help with was how do I take all of this information and turn it into something that people are drawn to. And that's what you did for me by drawing out the story, not only the story, but the store ease that I just don't really think about as something that's important. But when you put them all together and stitched them up and, and created a fabric out of them, it was super easy to see how powerful it was. How did that change things for you? I'm curious in other aspects of your business, because now you're doing workshops and virtual summits and all of these things. How did doing this process change things for you? I had a follower on one of my groups when I put in a post with this kind of new way of thinking, the story way of thinking, who, who, commented on there, where is the old Belden? I really like the upgrades. And I'm like, cool, cool, because that's engagement where before I could put up a post and maybe somebody would engage with it. Maybe they would read it and move on. I just wouldn't know. Now I'm getting 30, 40, 50 people on every single thing that I put up that are engaging with it and, and communicating. And that's the difference. The difference is the communication style you've taught me allows me to reach people in a different kind of way and super powerful. And that's on Facebook. You and I didn't even talk about Facebook, but what we talked about is having ramifications everywhere that I'm able to talk to people. When I think of the transformation that happened for you specifically, I remember where you were before and then where you are now, just a few months later, you've spoken in the Philippines, hosted a workshop, invited to a virtual summit. You've got an ABC TV interview. It's like, what? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. And I've been able to do some of that on, on almost no notice because what you've taught me has allowed me to be prepared. We had an opportunity to speak in front of a company of 4,000 people on three days notice. And that would have terrified me before you and I talked. But now I've literally got a signature speech in my pocket. And when they said, hey, can you come and talk to us on Tuesday? And it was Saturday. I'm like, sure, yeah, bring it, let's do it. And it was great, it was phenomenal. We got some good results there, we got clients from that, and we may yet, once we get past all of this pandemic stuff, we may yet bring them in as a corporate client, they're still talking to us about that. So that's, that's awesome. literally three days, yeah, that's three days notice. That would have been something I couldn't have done previously. What surprised you the most about working with me? Say that again? What surprised you the most about working with me? Because we'd known each other for a while before you actually said, yes, let's do it. Yeah, I think my answer might be different than most people's just because I knew you before. Okay. So as an individual and as a person, I know how you are. But I think what surprised me the most was how quickly and, and decidedly you were able just to zero in on things in my life that to me didn't mean anything. Right. In my mind, these are just things that happen and things that I went through. And yeah, they affected me, but they have nothing to do with my work. And yet you pulled those things in. And it's like with you just have a radar for that. You went straight to those elements and you showed me how my experience in a cave when I was 19 years old has everything to do with metabolic cellular biology and what I'm doing now. And I never would have made that connection, nor do I even know how we got to that story. But your ability to pull that kind of stuff up and out and show me how relevant it really is 
and why people need to hear about that was was just tremendously powerful. I don't know how you do it. It is your superpower, but you know, so grateful that you did. And you've made connections in my own mind, both to, and in my own psyche between this cave when I was 19 and the work that I do now that I really hadn't made before. And yeah, super, super powerful. When you thought of speaking engagements before and getting out there, you know, once we'd done the talk and we, you know, configured all of that, the next step is that whole outreach piece. How confident now do you feel compared to when you first started about how to outreach, the way to outreach, and what, most importantly, you need to do from here on forth, even without me. Mm -hmm. this, this has been fascinating because you took an extra step that I didn't expect you to take when it comes to outreach because I have time limitations. I have a lot on my plate every day, a lot going on. And when we started talking outreach, my first thought was, oh God, I don't have time for this. And when you said, no problem, Here's how we do it. I'll talk to you about what you need to know, what you need to do, and I'm more than happy to talk to your assistant about the rest. I'm like, wow, I totally did not expect you to bring my team into mm. what, what you're doing and the work you did. And when you taught her how to do the initial outreach and the tracking and everything that, that I really don't need to do, and you taught me how to step in at the right time and give those elements that need to come from me, that that really was above and beyond in my mind. It was it was something that I didn't know was in your scope of work, and it was super super helpful, and and again powerful. I know I keep coming back to that word, <laughs> but but that's really what it is because now the pieces within my team are working together towards a common end, and super super cool. Right, and that common end is building on stages, building on virtual summits, uh, building on podcasts, and your visibility just just skyrocketing. So I'm so oh, happy to gonna hear. It's going to be on freaking yeah. ABC. Yeah, yes, this is I pretty know. cool. <laughs> I know. You know, TV is never a bad thing. I'm just saying. You know, as a, yeah. as a TV reporter, what would you say to someone building and wrapping up here? What would you say to someone who's on the fence about working with me? I was on the fence working with you for what, a year and a half, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, there was a piece in me, and I think I told you this along the way, there was a piece in me that knew I was gonna be working with you, but once I started, and I think this is typical of, of, of others too, once I started, the question was, why the hell didn't I do this a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. right? Because it is so clearly exactly a step that I needed to take. And if someone's on the fence going, yeah, I think I need what both just got, how much time are you going to throw away thinking about that thought, right? Dive in and do it. You will not be disappointed. Thank you so much, Belden. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, the high praise. And, you know, I'm rooting for you beyond this call. I mean, <laughs> a thousand times. And, uh, of course, we'll stay connected. Perfect. Thank you. Sure.